Bridging. Many tools require drilling or preheating into the materials and creating incisions for the actual machining. This may be because of the material's hardness or to prevent damaging the tool. Unfortunately, this will sometimes cut into areas with undesired effects, especially when the tool is lifted to cut or drill another area. The tool may have to re-enter the material again with the same method and damage the material. As you can see here, the tool has to re-enter the material at various places. To prevent this, you can bridge the separate objects. Firstly, select your objects. Go to Utility and Bridge. In the Design Central, you will see the width. The width in millimeters is the width of the bridging. You can set it according to the size of your tool. It is better to set it smaller so it does not have a major effect on the machining itself. Then use your mouse, select the area, and drag it until you create a line. You can hold shift to make it snap horizontally or vertically, or draw the line as you wish. Left click again. And you can see the 0 0.5 millimeter bridging created between the objects. This will turn three objects into one object and the machining will be simpler as the blade as a tool does not have to be lifted. Continuous cutting will often save material and prevent tool damage from re-entering the material. For example, we wish to create a path from the four squares here. Select the objects, go to Auto Path, and select Line Cut In and Line Cut Out. And you can change your lengths and parameters here. You will see the green lines, which are the cut in and cut out lines. Now select the toolpath. Go to Path and Path Lead. Here you can move the path lead, cut in and cut out. And you can connect them using short moving to cut. Now the cut in and cut out can be done without having to lift the tool and move to another area. Now go to path, path simulation. And you can see that the tool will follow along the lines and you can see that the tool will cut in where the tool originally cut out. And this will prevent materials being wasted. And that is the end of this tutorial. Thank you.